guys what's going on here I'm gonna give you some uh, information on how to move the mini map in the game and the green red hat is back so stand by here hold on Okay, so they did put an update in on for the green and red HUD. All you gotta do is press options on PlayStation 4, go to options, go R1 options again, go to video, and it's right there. Green, red, green HUD, right there. On, off. So when you turn this on, it's gonna be green and slash red in the game all right that's how you do that it's real easy that way you can have it back like it was before instead of that like the light blue and orange color which was very hard to see actually it was extremely hard to see to say at least now let's jump in the game and what should we get here? Uh, let's play the sword and slaughter. Change G. Oh, if you don't know how to change commanders, it's it's kind of like a three, four step process. So you gotta go, let's say I wanna put a commander on this thing, cause it doesn't have one. It doesn't have like the helmet right above the star, which is a favorite or, or right below the tier. Go to commanders, tap down. Find what commander you want. I actually want a heavy tank commander. So I want the Patriot, go to current assignment, and then go down to the tank you want to put it on, which in this case I'm gonna put on a Shard and Slaughter tank, and then you transfer. That's all it is. It's like three or four steps. It's not that bad once you get used to it. All right. Now with, with uh, update 6.0, these things have crazy accuracy now, so the accuracy on this tank went really high. As you can see, it's 0.28 accuracy for a heavy tank. It's pretty high and a pretty good uh, damage. Single shot is 5.7, which is a bit higher, huh? Interesting. Wonder what the reload is on the single shot. I never played the single shot before. I always play with the auto loader. Let's play with that single shot. Uh, let's put some rounds in here because it messes them out. I don't need that many HE rounds. 15 that, uh, that's pretty good and make sure you hit toggle on that so you don't uh, use uh, gold so right now I put it on the uh, credits this is very important the game too also is the enhanced rations it helps a lot all right, so I'm gonna use actually the single shot. I'm gonna see how it goes. Like I said, I never used it before. So let's see, it does have a better rate of fire than before, I think. Yeah, it has better rate of fire, which is, okay, we'll see. Let's try it. Let's try the single shot cannon. All right, now once we're in the game, I will show you how to do the HUD. And it's really easy. On the PlayStation 4, you press the middle big black pad. Just hold it down. I'll show you here. Hold on the black pad down for like a half a second. It'll turn to a circle. Hold it again. It'll go to the bottom right. It'll give you a square. If you hold it again, it'll give you the circle. If you want to go back to the left again, do it again. It'll go up here. Do it again. Do that. Like I said, it's the black button. Now the way I, uh, I 
um, what you gonna call it, the way I uh, fight in tanks is when I'm not near nobody, I use the square map, but when I get in close quarters, I use the, uh, the circle map because I can see where they are, like hiding behind a rock or something, a mountain, it's easy to see. And unfortunately, you cannot save this when you get in this game. You gotta keep doing it. There's no safe feature for this map. Oh. What's the reload on this thing? 9.5 second reload, okay. For the single shot. It used to be like 10.5, 11 seconds. It used to be a lot higher. And less accuracy. What we got here? 290. So now you can see the HUD is green. Green for good guys, red for bad guys, like before. Which is a lot, actually a lot easier to spot tanks and see where they are, the outline. It's way easier. So we're just rolling around here. I want, I want to go as far left here. Go with my guys here, help, help these light things out. And uh, I'm going to destroy you here. Give him some support. Oh, is it Primo? I can't remember. Not sure. Is it Primo or... And there's a lot of artillery lately, if you guys notice. Um, a, lot of, a lot of artillery around me lately. Guys over here, I know there was that many. I'm dead. There was a lot of guys over there. They were heavy on that side, nobody held. Go to the next game. You know what happens? You go to the side, they're overloaded, like they did on that one. And there must have been like six, five, six tanks on that side. I want to show you guys, uh, there's actually 3D camos here too that they added to some tanks, which I have a couple of them actually. One is the E100. This is a 3D camo they added to the tank right here, this E100 camo. And the way you actually look for that 3D camo, if it's in there, you go to appearance and go to a camo and it's actually gold you'll see a little gold next to it it's it's called clear sky and then you apply it to all skins and there's also another one that i have it's for a tvp 50-1 what is it I, there it is this is another camo that they added for a tvp it's like i said only certain tanks have it not many tanks have it like that jack panzer 100 has it i think like the AMX 105 T10 has it. I, I like the 3D camo. But um, and these are uh, pretty cool camos. This is actually straight from PC. PC had these camos for a while. Now, they buffed the hell out of the. The sub they buffed the hell out of the Italian outloaders, and you're gonna see why here in a second. Rate of fire, 16 rounds a minute, 0.24 accuracy. Because this is a different outer loading system. The rounds actually reload while you're actually firing. Unless you fire again, then it can just the reload. But the, these outer loaders for the Italians are actually pretty strong.
is a capture the enemy base or destroy the enemy vehicles. Okay. Abby, stand in battle. Right. I'm just gonna go to my favorite spot here at the beginning. Now see see how the map didn't say from that game. You gotta hold down the PS4 is the big but big like it's a pad. And I believe on the Xbox is a it's like a back button or something like that. I believe. Can use that. I'm just gonna sit out here. A few minutes, two, three minutes. See who comes to the city. Cause I, I have two shots here. Yeah. Look how fast that round reloads right now. I only shot one round. Sorry, ready. So this is actually a pretty good sniping spot for you know, of course destroyers, but it's for like uh, uh, for this type of things too. This thing reloads extremely quick now, which is really nice. There's one. The, the second one is even faster. And the third one is even faster than that. Fire one shot. Here he goes real quick. I have no shot. He's behind a rock or something. I damaged that guy. Uh, I think he disappeared, but he is damaged. Yeah, yeah, he has very little health, as you can see. Uh, he's dead too. Okay, so if somebody's going towards the city, it's clear right now. I'm gonna go to the right side here. Help these guys out. And this th this thing is actually so nimble and quick. This area AD for Ghetto. So, close quarters, Matt. We got people coming in here. So, we got a light tank. Right here. We have another guy coming over here. There's a Tiger 2. And another guy over here. So they're pushing over here. So they are pushing. That's why that, that's why that close course map is good. You can see where these guys are going. It's easier to tell. Hopefully some of my guys can help out over there. They can't sneak now and they got they got killed over there. Yeah, this, yeah they got killed over there on that side. Thing. Yeah, this thing was awful. They got killed over there on the plane. 
I don't know what to do. So, that's that. You know, if one flank falls, then you're kind of screwed on the other flank, then, then they surround you, then you get pinched. And here's a dragon. Dragon actually got a nice buff too, by the way. 0.26 accuracy, almost 5.5 rounds a minute. Be right back. Another, uh, it looks like the game is over right there. Yeah, I'm gonna play another game with this thing. This thing's really good. I just had a bad team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. The update six point was getting better with the HUD. They're uh, doing minor adjustments, so it'll be back to normal eventually, like it was, with a little my little different stuff here and there. Garage still sucks though. Looking at like a volcanic rock floor, broken rocks, just flat piece of land, kind of sucks because it's really not a garage. It's just out in the open somewhere. I I rather have a garage. An actual garage where my tank sits. Not in some open area. People are coming up here. Just to stay here long. I like to see at least four or five people come up here. Somebody coming up here. I'm gonna go there, buddy. There's nobody else coming out there. And there is so much artillery lately because I've really got a huge buff to aiming and uh, reload. It's kind of crazy how much how much artillery you see these days. Yeah, that guy's going to see, uh, see up here. He, he's going to die. There's nobody went up there. Point out that they are coming down the hill. They will be down here at some point. There's like at least three or four of them. I noticed that I can win like four or five, six games in a row, or lose like six, seven games in a row. It is so bad in matchmaking right now. It doesn't matter what you do. Either you have a bad team, or you have a crappy team, or 
Do you have a shit? It doesn't really matter. Or you have a... You lost too. Like I said, you can tell if you have a bad team is when you lose like four or five tanks within the first two minutes, which that's what happened to our team. They absolutely got killed over there. So there's nothing you can do about this. It, it, it's just a luck of the draw. You, this is like probably a really bad team, and there's nothing you can do. So when you play, if you lose like three, four, five tanks within two minutes, you're gonna lose. You're not gonna come back. It's very rare that you're gonna come back from a deficit from like four or five things down within like two or three minutes going in the game. Let's see. I haven't played this for a while. This thing, uh, the big guns like uh, the STG, they used to have a really bad, it was more of a Dur P122 cannon. Now it has like 0.24 accuracy, which actually, it doesn't mess, really. As long as you stay zoomed in, it doesn't mess. It's actually a pretty good tank now. <laughs> and it has quite a bit of armor. For a medium tank. So let's see what kind of team we get here. Like I said, I, I can lose four, five, six, seven, eight games in a row. Get three, four five kills, zero kills, it doesn't matter, you, you still lose, because it's just what the matchmaking gives you, they even give you a good team or a crap team, it's no in between, and very rarely you're going to get a balanced team where it goes down to the wire like two or three tanks on each side, it's very rare. <laughs> now, I, I do believe the reload on this was, before the update, like 11, over 11, like 11.5, 12 seconds. Now it's only 10.4, which is actually pretty good for a 122 millimeter that does like 400 damage. <coughs> I know yesterday when I played, I won like six, seven in a row, and then my next five, six games I lost. I could not win, no matter what. You see now, now, you see there's two more artillery, and I gotta do my map again, because it doesn't stay. You gotta redo it every time. The mini map. Put them in the bottom right hand corner. Remember, Rory lost two tanks in less than 50 seconds. Two tanks lost. Going, man, what are you doing, dude? Jesus, I'm <laughs> going help over there. <laughs> help these guys 
guys out. Very good accuracy for a 122. So he's going back up a little bit now. That dude right there, as you said. He's going to back up. So I'm going to be so brave to come up, uh, out. Now can finish him off, but he just hiding behind the rock. Alright, we got him. Right. So this Barracuda is actually a pretty decent player. Here's a tank right here. I I tracked him, I didn't kill him though, it was kinda weird. Tank on top, which I'm not gonna worry about. Those guys don't go after him. People not even pay attention when they drive, when they turn around. I mean, they're—I mean, they're not even paying attention. They just drive blind, like they're got a blindfold or something. But, yeah, that's a sign of a good team. And they had a bad team. You see how many dragons there is now because of the op? <laughs> Everybody is a dragon. I think I'm getting close to it done. I see. I already, I already have the dragon. I think get gold back if I'm not mistaken. I gotta check real quick. Is a concept D. Uh, I must have finished stage 75. Um, <coughs> yeah, I have the dragon already. So if you go to seasons here and go to ops, um, dragon urn. Yeah, so, so if you go to a store, it's on sale now for me tank bundles the dragon so it says this tank bundle is already owned if you purchase this bundle you will receive the cost of a tank in gold okay so when I get this tank for free which is like two more stages I'll, I'll get the gold value for it instead of credits which is pretty nice it'll be like 10,000 gold or something like that I believe it'll be like 10,000 gold it's worth quite a bit it's a it's a good tank but now we got a new tank that, let's try this one out. Uh, let's go to 2.9, premium. We got, got the new Concept 1B. All right, here we go. Clear filters, it's American of course. <coughs> and there it is, heavy tank. Concept 1B, so. First, let's make, let's put some 4.41 rounds per minute, 0.38 as of now. We'll see how it is after I upgrade upgrade uh, everything on it. Put reloader on, <coughs> put accuracy on, and put 
advanced optics. Alright, now. Consumables are standard now. I like that one. Says you can reuse every minute. That's all I use now. I don't use fire signatures. They're kind of stupid. You actually have to press the triangle now. It's not an automatic fire extinguisher anymore like it used to be. Now the rounds are 40 rounds and we're not going to have that many HE. I'm just going to put two. <coughs> 19, 19, and two. Okay, switch those to credits. Make sure that they're not on the... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> that... 1919 and 2 okay now let's go to appearance so we'll go this one came with a freeze rainbow skin in the season by itself so it's right here it was free so you can apply <coughs> for this skin <coughs> to all slots And you get also one free for that Snake Blisking tank, the Tier 10 Destroyer, the Russian one. Emblems, I'm gonna put. <coughs> Anything military? Uh, military. <coughs> I got a lot of stuff. Uh, flag is going to be American, of course. I like American flags. <coughs> hmm. There it is. I got 14 of those. And I got to find a nice emblem for the side. Animals. flag on the side that's fine which is that the American flag is fine I got five left of those <laughs> encryptions I don't want any all right concept 1b we have the new Rambo <laughs> that's a bayonet in the front of that's pretty cool <coughs> a bayonet on in the front of the turret end of the turret the rainbow rainbow skin that's pretty cool and has the bandana in the back and yeah, it's not bad now let's look at the accuracy on this thing though because it used to be 0.38 I believe oh yeah that's right I gotta put a yeah it's 0.38 so let's put a commander on here from all my uh I think it will be sergeant slaughter thing And put it on the concept 1B right there. <coughs> now let's see what it is for the accuracy. 0.27 and 5.4 rounds per minute. So it went down from 0.38 to 0.27 which is huge. That means this thing is going to pretty much hit everything. When, especially when you're you know, standing still and in the heading without on the move. So let's take this one for it. To, you know what? Uh, let's put a booster on here. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Oh, that was an XP. No. Commander, no. Let's put a times two silver boost. Which I don't really need, but I, I barely use them. <coughs> But 
but the update so far is not too bad after they fixed the HUD a couple more things to fix and the HUD will be pretty much the same tanks are better better accuracy the way the commander system is right now and then I'm on stage 75 of the season so at some point I'd probably like in uh probably by next Tuesday Wednesday should have the uh start down. Ten second me though. Ten point one. And this is a capture the enemy base. Uh, gotta move our mini map again. <laughs> the bayonet is pretty cool though. This is a three this is one of those three D uh camos you get. This one with three of course. Oh by the way they did add the ping bar on the top left corner all in on the screen if you see it. They added that back up in there. Pretty quick for uh, heavy. Artillery. There they are. We spotted them. The pigs are there. The pigs are there. Okay. Yep. 
Not a bad tank, actually. Very quick. I mean, it moves like a medium almost. Like a slow medium, I would say. I mean, quite nice for, for you know, quite nice tank. Oh, there's a guy to the right. I'm not sure what this guy's reload is. Gotcha. I like this tank. Plays like plays like a medium. Wow, I don't even... Now oh, this guy's gonna get me. Oh, I have a chance. Oh man, a little bit more health for that dude. Hopefully that guy can win, man. These guys got no health. I don't know. Okay. I mean, this other guy has no, absolutely no health. That super conquer. Neither does the grill. And he has a stock cannon too. He just got that thing. 18, 12, 1,820 health. That's a stock cannon and turret. Oh, buddy. Don't let, don't lose, man. Come on, man. They got... I'm not watching this. This guy has no clue what he's doing. He's in the middle of nowhere. One shot for both. I don't want to have to play that tank again. <clears throat> I'll take out the silver boost. I'm not sure why they made a one point five silver boost. That's kind of weird. That's strange. Ops. <coughs> oh, this is the last one. This is the, for the dragon for free. Should get this done by tomorrow. Uh, oh, unless I play like 20 games, get a thousand XP I can get today. But it doesn't, it's not a big deal. You have 11 days left to do it, which is a lot. And you get this uh, dragon earn bonus every day for 5,000, which is real nice. So it's very easy to do. It's almost, it's literally a very easy tank to get, to earn. Dragon earn. Also, you know, there's that, the 12 tanks of Christmas, so you finish that. You log in after it's over. It says, be sure to log in after 12 days of tank, of tank Smith expires. So it's 11 more days, another, or like a week and a half. And you... If you complete all stages, you, you, you're supposed to get like a big reward. I don't know what it's going to be. Could be premium time, could be credits, could be some kind of maybe a, a premium tank. Or maybe uh, those key cards. You never know what they're going to give you for that. But it's free though, so it doesn't matter really what they give you.
Hmm. Destroy two hundred enemies, fifteen more. I, 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 I better if I don't even finish the week two stuff for the weekly, I'll be done with this uh, season pass because I'm already in seventy five in a week in like four days. It's not much more to go, really. They do give you a lot of gold, though, a lot of credits, I notice. So you get your money back with this pass because they also give you these key cards, which you can get gold out of them or tanks that can it, give you gold. Uh, I mean, it's actually worth doing it. And it gives you, and gives you a premium time. And you get a uh, Huntsman Centurion. Okay. <coughs> we lost, right? Yeah, I knew that guy wouldn't win. He was, he was. That guy was clueless. I'm pretty. I mean, I want to see what this guy actually did in a E75. What what he accomplished in that game. Where is he? Yeah, see? He took one shot. That's it. He literally did one or two shots. That's all he did. Ah, oh, boy. That's pretty bad. Very low damage for you, 75. Again. But yeah, this is actually a pretty good tank. It blocks uh, quite a bit. I did not notice. I blocked like th I blocked like three thousand two hundred damage in this thing when when it's all said and finished. <laughs> the garage is awful. You're looking at a flat piece of land like a lava rock. I don't know what this is. I'm, I mean, I have no idea what what this flat piece of land is. Then you just make the garage like a regular garage. Where there's a tank in there. There's like a toolbox somewhere. There's somebody working with the tank. Maybe the tracks. Uh, f showing the flags. You know, something. Not a Not this. It looks awful. What we got here? Pure nine and down. We gotta redo our map. Standard battle, I believe. Yeah. They're gonna be a thing, dude. Is this the same guy? Black tail rider? Uh, 
man broke his modules or something. That's about it. Thank you. Quick on the turnaround. I mean, that the whole trigger is really quick on this thing. At first, it was like more like a medium tank. I'm gonna talk to you. And the camo, the bayonet on there is really nice. I wonder how the rot rotating uh, turret's gonna be when they bring that out. Does that new destroyer, that tier 10 one, has a, ro has a rotating turret? The object 268 version 5? So that, that, it, look, it almost looks like a heavy tank, chassis basically. Doesn't even look like a destroyer. Look how fast this thing turns. Amazing. This light thing will not get away from me. I mean, he just keeps going in my way everywhere I go. He's got murdered. I know you're here. It does. It's got to hurt. Friendly bomb. This thing covers a lot of ground for a heavy tank, I can tell you that. I mean, this thing moves quick to it rotation, haul traverses quick. I'm quite impressed with this thing. And with the new stats, that's really good uh, accuracy on the commander system. That's pretty damn cool. <coughs> oh, look at that, another dragon.
to stay tomorrow. It's probably gonna be a little bit more laid back and chill. My name is Asate. I'm from Brazil. I try to find a PS5 with this, and I cannot. When I started to watch your videos, you helped me so much. Thanks and Merry Christmas. Give Merry Christmas right back at you. I hope you have a lovely and safe holiday. If you don't celebrate Christmas, well, we have a good holiday either way. Or if anything, hope you have a good day off. <laughs> I'm not in the least. Uh, my girlfriend doesn't celebrate Christmas either, so I totally get it. One PS5. Dude, I hope we could all get PS5 soon. I keep telling you guys, if you guys are not subscribed, go subscribe because we are giving one away. I'm just frightening my sub. Anyways, have a good Christmas. I'm going to sleep. Have a good night, homie. Have a good night. Mm. Uh, I couldn't correct message you by tweeting with your app. Not a bad tank. You're not hunting him, he's hunting you. You're sorry. That's cool. Raven from the Rainbow movie. I think that was the call sign, Raven. And, uh,. On the big bayonet on the end of the turret, stab somebody if you run out of rounds, apparently. No problem. looking tank. It kind of sucks you have to redo the map and put it on the bottom right corner every game. You can't actually save that for some reason. But it's better than having it on the top left side though. So slow. Well, guys are pushing the town pretty hard. At least five, six, seven guys here. So that means if we win the town, we should win the game. Hello. You want to run to the water? I'm 
I'm enjoying this thing. Quick. You can relocate fast from one place to another real quick. Close quarters, so I'm gonna put in my circle map. I wanna know what these guys are exactly. It's easier, when you're in a circle map, it's easier to tell where the tanks are when you're close quarters. When you're not like sniping, you know, stuff like that. When you're like sniping, then you can use a square map. It doesn't really matter at that point. Killed him. <clears throat> I mean, that was a clear shot killing the Sephora. On the open field. Uh. <laughs> but that snapshot just going straight, you know, with a heavy tank like that and killing that uh, tier 9 German destroyer is amazing. You don't have to even stop. Useless artillery. Sit there. Lob shots. God. Good job. I don't know how people can play just sitting there with artillery like the whole game and move like two inches. Unless they're spotted, they move. Other than that, they don't move at all.
This is a great team over here. They got killed on top on the, with the bananas, so they got absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. That's why we lost. I was going to shoot in the, oh, the freaking tank blocked it. The dead tank. Good God. So annoying. How to go around the dead tank and readjust. Oh, what are you going to do, Diamondback? You in your non-rotating turret. Team again. Uh. 
Oh boy. One more game. Done. No, I'm about losses now. There's one guy dead already. Good job, buddy. And another guy dead. 45 seconds in the game. Okay. Nice. That's gonna do it guys. Uh, every team I'm on it sucks now. I mean just none but losses. One win maybe in five, six games. Time to stop playing for today. Unfortunately. in the auto loader. The auto loader is better for the sergeant slaughter than a single loader. Alright, that's it.